Breaking the wall of rationality and morality. Yan Ling Guo, Goethe University, Frankfurt. Yeah, so many people believe that morality is not rational. And indeed, when you look at the two behaviors, they work quite differently. So the rational behavior is based on reasoning, and the moral behavior is based on a few of value foundations, like a care or in group. And here I show that despite the difference in the working mechanism, actually the two behaviors often lead to the same outcome. And here's an example. So two villages share a common pasture on which they raise cattle. So if everyone is cooperative and raises at most one cattle, the everyone can earn $100. And if someone is not cooperative and raises too many cattle, then he makes extra profit on the cost of the others. And if everyone's doing so, the area can only earn $70 because too many cattle are damaging for the pasture. And this is a special case of the so-called prism dilemma, and the, re the result is well known. Namely, if the individuals are rational and self-interested, then they always try to get the extra profit, and at last, everyone's worse off. And here, the morality can help. For instance, if they care for each other, then they will cooperate and maximize the collective profit instead of the profit, uh, instead of the private one. However, the morality does not always work. For instance, if they follow the other value in group, that is, everyone cares only for his own village, then still everyone will try to raise as many as possible cattle for his village, so still everyone is worse off. And on the other hand, even the rational and uh, self-interested individuals can get the optimal result. For instance, if they agree upon some institutions which raises a fine, say $50, from people who raise too many cattle. And then it will lead to that people still cooperate and get a better result. <coughs> so here you see that for every rational behavior, you can find a corresponding moral behavior and vice versa, which leads to the same outcome, where this outcome may be positive or negative. <coughs> so by showing these parallels between the two behaviors, I hope to facilitate the understanding between different disciplines like economics and ethics so that uh, researchers from one discipline can better learn and benefit from the research from the other discipline. And so together, they can then get a better and a more comprehensive solution to the real world solutions. And here are two examples, but I don't have time for it now. So if you have any questions and comments or any discussion. Okay, thank you very much. Great, thanks. Next.